the manager's here to take your questions on the game if you'd like to start. Well, we seem to start quite well. We've been run out of ideas and we went through the first time. Well, I think we didn't uh, have enough urgency and uh, penetration first half until they scored. Then we had a because they they never looked like uh, creating anything. We it felt maybe too easy. I don't know, but that, that's when you need that tempo and change of tempo, as we did in the second half. I thought second half we were excellent in that respect, <coughs> uh, creating more pressure on them, more chances, more uh, uh, urgency to our game. And of course, uh, but you've got to hit the target, you've got to score the goals when you have those moments. Ola, once again, I mean, the, the issue has been raised this week, but once again, a lot of racial abuse against uh, Rashford during the game after the next. Yep. Do you have any comments to that? Well, it's uh, the same as uh, we, we spoke about this uh, before the weekend. It's unheard of, and we need to stop it. It needs to stop because. Uh, no, I just lost for words when it comes if it if it keeps going. We keep uh, having all these campaigns, uh, no to racism, and they still keep uh, hiding behind fake identities. Or so they. It's just crazy that we talk about this in 2019. Sorry, say again. Yeah. 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 Is that what you'd be saying to the players? Well, this is part of the sort of learning and progress of your team. Well, we have to learn, and we have to learn quickly. And um, the last two games, games that we should have got six points out of, if you look at it uh, as a neutral, if you look, watch the games, of course, with two penalty misses away from uh, uh, sitting there smiling, happy with uh, nine points now. Uh, but that's part of the game as well. And today with. More than I don't know how much, how many percentages of possession, but the first half an hour, uh, no danger whatsoever. But that's when you have to be alert because there was just one long kick and we didn't uh, narrow down. Such an easy goal, and then the last goal as well. After we've had that pressure all second half, David's not touched the ball more or less second half, and uh, they score again. That sometimes that'll be uh, the case because teams will come here and defend against us and, and drop deep like they did today. I think we were unlucky though, I have to say, uh, with uh, Martial's clear and obvious penalty. Yeah. It's it's a nailed on one and uh, I think when the referee sees the game he, he knows he's not had his best of games. I am, yeah, definitely, because it's a nailed on penalty. He, he will not slip if he doesn't have a 100 kilo centre back uh, on his shoulders. There's also a possible sending off of it, I think, for Gary. Yeah, I, I, I don't uh, want to go on about the, the referee's decisions all the time, but he's cleared through on goal, one on one, stops a goal, uh, goal scoring opportunity. So for me, that is uh, no doubt either. But now it's uh, time for the boys to just get together. Uh, we we know that this these five days have been disappointing in the aspects of uh, one point instead of six that we should have that we feel we should have had. But we need to stick together for uh, for uh, for the weekend. Southampton away, not an easy one, and uh, they've had a good win today. So we we'll, uh, we'll have to uh, use tomorrow's day off well and start well on Monday. Yeah. Today. Given that, have you got any reservations about letting someone like Alexis Sanchez leave, even though he might have had the best time? He has got experience. Alexis is a quality player, of course he is, and uh, uh, as you say, we don't have uh, loads of options. So, uh, if if there's an uh, offer that's good enough for the club uh, and for him, maybe he'll go. Uh, if not, he's still our player. He's a quality player and. Uh, He's, uh, he's been training well, as I've said before, there's no, uh, no doubt about uh, his quality either, so uh, let's see. Oli, what did you make of Paul's uh, bump today? You seem to say he's got the responsibility for the creativity, but then obviously he gets pushed away for that. But... Yeah, and then uh, I thought he, uh, as the rest of the team, uh, grew in the game. 
he wins the ball really well for our first goal. He plays some great passes and uh, he knows uh, and we know that he's going to want the ball all the time. And he knows that, yeah, he, he lost the ball, but he, uh, he'll lose the ball again and he'll try again. So no problem with that. Time. Yeah. Wolves, uh, it may not seem that that's always, not always the case, that they do make the right decision. Do you think that's I th trouble? I think VAR, um, like the, they let the referee's decision be a subjective one there on the. I think it's a clear and obvious penalty with Anthony. I, I also think it's a penalty for. Uh, for Marcus when he runs and he gets pulled down a little bit, and I'm. 100% sure that this contact between uh, Dan James and their def uh, defender. Now he's got two yellow cards where he's been there's been contact with him twice, and he's been, I have to say, <laughs> very unfairly uh, and unlucky there. Both uh, yellow cards shouldn't have stood. Are you, are you concerned that you'll get a reputation? Yeah, that's what you do get. Con <coughs> that's why I raise it here because I uh, he is not that type of player, and he keeps running that quickly. And if you look at the there's a video, uh, if, if you look at the video, there's contact both now and in the Wolves game and he's such an honest boy and he gets up and he runs and he takes people on and sometimes he gets kicked and sometimes with that pace just a little touch and a nudge will be enough for him to fall. Jesse Lee came up and he put him up, he seemed to be strong to say he's had a bit of criticism where he's not scored Premier League goals since your first game in charge. Is, is there any issue there? Are you worried or concerned about him? No, we, we stick together and uh, Jesse's not uh, scored any goals in the last three games, no, but he's been a big part of our, our team and Jesse will uh, will keep continuing being a, an important part. The, the energy he gives us uh, is lively, So, um, but we felt Mason was, had to come on and create something and uh, we will see Mason more often, definitely. Uh, we'll do the scans tomorrow uh, at work, but uh, he felt something in his uh, in his hamstring, so hopefully he won't be too bad. Uh, we hope he's he's going to be back for uh, for Southampton. Okay, last question. Uh, what is your impression of how uh, VR things work in, in Premier League so far? <laughs> uh, we have to get used to it, and there'll be discussions because uh, it's the same referees making them decisions. So. Uh, but just in a in a different room. Uh, that <laughs> they're they're in down at Stockley Park. So sometimes you think they're making the wrong decision. Sometimes you you, you think they've they've done well. So it'll work itself uh, and it'll find its way. Okay, guys. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. And I'm sweating more than the players. <laughs> <laughs> it is warm, isn't it?